And this could be a really cool fucking movie. Like, you've got this immortal warrior, and, like, as you see in the pictures here, he's got, like, blades and stuff sticking out of me. He just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Berserker. Or, how do they... Berz, Berserker is how it's spelled. <laughs> uh, if you're, are you familiar with this, Nick? This character? Um, it sounds familiar, but not uh, not 100% offhand. This is a uh, graphic novel that Keanu Reeves had mm. a hand in. The character uh, okay. obviously is modeled after Keanu Reeves. Um, mm -hmm. It's about a... I don't know exactly what it's like. An immortal warrior, he can't die kind of guy or something. I don't know the story. But it, the graphic novel came out, or the comic series or whatever it is, and apparently it's been very well received. Um, he had a hand in writing it. It was all his idea. He came up with it. Um, I, I think he had other writers, of course, and artists. Um, it's gone over to Netflix. Netflix is making an animated uh, series or movie one. That's coming real soon. Uh, Keanu Reeves will be voicing the character in that. <clears throat> There's also another project going on, and I think it may be animated. Well, they're also, and they did announce a while back that he had planned on making a um, live-action version of the, the Berserker story. And he will be playing the character in that as well. But now, apparently, he has decided that he, or he is circulating are considering circle circling directing the upcoming movie um it's n nothing's 100 percent, but he says i got it yesterday oh, i'm sorry i got i got it yesterday or two days ago the script i haven't read it yet reeve said he added that he and the production aren't sure if the script will be the final take on the film but the actor claimed that there's a 33 percent chance that he will take on the directing duty so you know not 100%, not even 50%, but he's thinking about it. He's continu he's uh, uh, considering it. He continued, I know I know how it's a lot of work, but the film I directed, Man of Tai Chi, was born. I became director because I was part of the writing process and I didn't want to hand it over. Um, and that, that's what I was going to get at. I, I guess the question is, is because Keanu Reeves is not really known for directing, uh, but I guess what do you think about him and, you know, he's not, what's he, he's like 50-something now. Now, moving over to, because he's shown that he has acting, or he has action star chops. Do you think he'll be good as a director? And also, before you answer that, did you know that, yes, he has actually directed a film before, Man of Tai Chi, that I've seen. And if you have seen it, what did you think of it? Um, no, I have not seen it. And, uh, you know, as long as he has the right people behind him, it could be cool. I mean, I don't think Keanu Reeves is the first person I think of directing, but I think, you know, he's definitely earned the ability to. So, I mean, if he wants to direct it, I mean, cool. Oh, I mean, I can't really I can't really just say, you know, you don't do this because he'd be like, I'm going to do it anyways. But I think, you know, as long as, as long as he knows what he wants and how he wants it and he gets the right people behind him, you know, cool. I'm more happy for him. Well, I I think that he... Me, myself, I don't think this is a terrible thing. I mean, like you said, he's yeah. not the first person I think of, oh, yeah, director. Um, But I've seen Man of Tai Chi. It wasn't bad. Yeah. It wasn't amazing, but really, the actually, from the technical directing side of things, it was fine. I mean, it had no... Like, I, like you said, I think it was he surrounded himself with a good team... Because the director is not the only person on a project. I mean, <clears throat> they are kind of the, the leader of everything, but he had a good team with him, I assume, and they made a, a solid-looking movie that fit in with the other types of movies of its ilk, those uh, kung fu, you know, Hong Kong action films. Um, the, the thing that some of the performances in it were a little light, but that was more himself, Reeves himself. He played a role in it. It wasn't like a huge role, but he was in it, and he was throughout the film some, but he wasn't the main mm -hmm. star. Actually, it was his stunt guy. It's either his stunt double, I don't think it was a stunt double, or the guy who trained him on the Matrix was the main character, if I remember correctly. But uh, the action and everything was shot well. The movie, if you had told me Keanu Reeves directed it, when I did hear that Keanu Reeves directed it, I was like, oh, really? I didn't, I didn't realize that. Like, hmm. 
surprising. So I think he has the ability to do it. I do think that it it can go one of two ways. Um, Because he, this is his baby. He created this world. He created this character. He has a a large hand in the creative process and in in this world. So I think that that's cool that the the creator of it all is there. But I mean, then you look at something like Spawn, which we're not talking about this week. Some news came out about it with uh, Todd McFarlane. While Todd McFarlane is the creator of Spawn, he might not be the best person to direct it. Just because someone created something doesn't always mean they're the best, like they wrote it, doesn't mean they're the best one to see that through to the screen. But given Mana Tai Chi, I think I think he'd do fine. I don't think it would be I don't think that um, that gives me some hope that okay, if he does pull take on director directing duties, he'd be able to do it. Now this this role it sounds like um, it would put him in front of the camera a lot more. So I know that's a bit more difficult to be directing and be the main star of the movie. So mm-hmm. I wonder how that would play on him. I don't know. But I do know that the idea behind this character sounds really cool. And this could be a really cool fucking movie. Like you've got this immortal warrior. And like as you see in the pictures here, he's got like blades and stuff sticking out of me. He just don't give a fuck. It could be really cool. And it's a really popular series since it came out. So, I mean, I hope that if he does decide to take it, it's, you know, I hope it works out. Because I would be interested in seeing something. I like this idea. I mean, it's kind of. Yeah. It's kind of basic, you know. We It's kind of, sort of like the one with uh, Charlize Theron. It came out uh, a year or so ago. Uh, what was it? The, the, oh, the, the old, old guard. guard. Yeah, yeah. Where, like, they just can't die. And they're just warrior. I mean, it's that whole thing. But, you know, be cool for what it was. But hey, I don't know. Um, you guys uh, out there, is any have any of you read or familiar with the Berserker graphic novel or comic book series or whatever? And what do you think? Let us know. Is it really good? I have no fucking idea. I'm going off what people say. So are you looking forward to Keanu possibly taking up the role of director again for this film? Or are you just looking forward to this film in general? Let us know in the comments below. 